Hi everybody, uh, my name is William Wynn. I'm the Pioneer Field Agronomist here in Southwest Wisconsin. Uh, I'm here with Weston Saturn. Pioneer Sales Associate at Ready Egg Service in Stitzer, Wisconsin. So Weston and I today are doing a little bit of uh, stand evaluations on some of the earlier planted corn here. We're in Iowa County, right Weston? You yes. want to tell us a little bit about this field? Yep, so this was planted on April 21st at 36,000 population. Um, conventional tilled, we actually did a little plot over towards the highway uh, the same day too. So this was planted a little bit later in the day. Uh, spring applied and hydrous, no two by two or pop-up starter in with it. Okay, cool, cool. So what we've done here, we've got our stand, stand count chain stretched out. Uh, Weston, you wanna tell us what you found on both rows here in this one spot? To my right, we got a 36 stand count and to my left, we got a 37 stand count. All right, so what Weston's saying here, what we have here, we have a chain it's measured uh, 17 foot 5 inches, so that is a thousandth of an acre on 30 inch rows. So if you have 30 inch rows and you wanted to run a tape out to 17 foot 5 inches and count, that's what the numbers he's talking about. Uh, so that's what we get for, you multiply 36 times a thousand, that's 36,000, that's what we got. So, and you got 37,000 on the other, so we're within a thousand of our, of our drop rate, so we're sitting in really good shape here. Weston, what else did you find? So I did find one late emerger. So what we did here is we dug up one of our late emerging, the late emerging plant. And so what we like to do is we like to dig it up, kind of find out what's going on with the plant. Um, you know, if it's insect feeding or what exactly, why it's late emerged. So um, it's about three quarters. It was just starting to spike. So it's at about a quarter of an inch um, from the soil surface. So, um, and as we're, you know, we dig it, we dug it up. So we don't see any insect, uh, insect feeding at all. Um, the roots look pretty good on it as well. You know, it's a, health, it's a healthy color to it. So. Um, and as to while we while we're digging it up, we like to check the uh, like to check the planting depth. So what you do is you take take your measuring stick here, measure it from the top of the seed, top of the kernel, and you measure it to the mesocotyl. So and typically the mesocotyl is three quarters of an inch from the soil surface. So right here, you see that little swelled up line? That's where the mesocotyl is. You add three quarters of an inch to we're at an inch and a half right here so you're at two and a quarter and for these planting conditions this that's pretty ideal would you say will yep it is and that's what we found in a few of the other plants that we dug up the other way you can do it but it's pretty tough sometimes uh, i have a flat bottom spade that I, I use and i'll dig along a furrow and you can measure from the soil surface down to the top of the seed to see where you have for planting depth but this is a nice uh, way that you can cheat and uh, get away with that without destroying the evidence, right? So, uh, good tip there, Weston. Right. What about that no-till, Weston? What are you guys noticing on the no-till? I've seen a lot more variance in stands versus okay. the conventional till. Gotcha. I know some of the stuff that I've been looking at, you know, when you look at our, our chart here, you know, you're looking at, you know, probably every other, you know, I've seen some plants where, you know, one and five, or sometimes if you get in a rough spot, every other plant have been really uneven. Some are emerged, some are not. Uh, so, when we're, when we're doing our stand assessments, we really need to make sure that we're taking, you know, account to those late emergers. You know, and when I say late emergers, you know, as the chart depicts, we're looking at one and a half week delay. You know, if it's going to be a few days, you know, you know, three or four days before it emerges with the others, not going to be a huge deal. But when you start getting beyond that 10 day mark, you know, you're going to start seeing, uh, as you can see on the chart here, your maximum yield potential going down because that plant then becomes a weed and it will compete with sun for sunlight, water, and nutrients with the other plants that were really emerged. So, Weston, is there anything else that you want to uh, want to they have parting shots for the team here? Yeah, um, you know, this spring has gone quite well, uh, quite a lot better than it did what it did last year in 2019. Um, we just got a much timely needed rain uh, to activate the chemicals that have been spraying the past couple weeks. So, um, you know, just contact us at Ready Ag or Ross Soil if you would like us to come out and do any stand evaluations with us. We would be more than happy to. So, hey, appreciate the time today, Weston. Thanks. Let's go catch that other that next day account. Yep. Thanks, Will. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.